Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy, Zach Wilder. And today, I got an insane video. A hundred tips and tricks for Chimera Land. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're an advanced player, this will benefit you greatly. Please, the only thing I ask for you is if you have not subscribed and liked the video, please make sure to do so. I have put my sweat, blood, and tears into this one. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys need to pause at any time during the video please do so and without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> For the fashion fanatics, you can hide and unhide any equipment that you are wearing. Everything in the game counts as a collectible in the world info. You don't have to go from storage to storage to sort out all of your stuff. You can just simply look on the left side and scroll right through. Shattering eggs gives you egg white. When cooking recipes, make sure it's only 5 seconds. That is to guarantee a new recipe. Portraits give you stat boost to increase your power level, so make sure you do as many as you can per day. Use a flamethrower instead of or tools to farm resources like wood and gathering other plants. Every new fish you catch gives you a stat boost in the world info, so start catching fish. Make sure to hatch one egg of every single pet that you see to collect them in the world info to boost your stats. World info is your best friend. World info has a completionist page where you can go through different tasks to complete a page. Once you've completed a page, you're gonna get a major attribute boost your stats. If you can't hatch an egg, then pay attention to the temperature in the bottom left. That means your, your temperature is wrong. You can either fix this by going to a location that is cold or hot, like the desert or the snowy area, and find a house to hatch it, or just simply uh, build the water or fire orb in your house. If your pet is ever in danger during battle, you can instantly uh, recall him or uh, set the health bar option on the bottom right. Squatting up with friends gives you an XP and damage boost. Advance and regular totems scale to your level, so if you have a friend that is a higher level, let him initiate or start the totem, therefore getting more XP and better reward. Make sure to discover a lot of scenic points because they do increase your stat. You can change the stats from all equipments to increase power levels simply by choosing the same equipment and or transferring stats from one to another. Attendants can revive you when you do get knocked, so make sure you do summon them every time you fight. You can repair or pack your whole house with one single button. You can trade items with your friends when you get close to them. In auction, you can filter specific items that you are looking for by using this button. Pay attention to your focus. If you ever feel like you're doing less damage or dying faster than usual, then it's probably your focus, hunger, or energy. One way to recover them, simply just go to your home and rest. Blast Furnace, Cultivator, and Coin Maker will be your best friend when in terms of reserving space at home or on your bag. Recruit every attendant that you can possibly get because they do give you discovery stats in the world info. The central area has really good resources and beasts, but it is an open PvP area, so tread lightly. If you made it this far, please like, subscribe, and share the video. That will help your boy a ton. Let's keep moving. I would suggest that you do level up your refining ASAP because it is one of the best ways to get good gear. Uh, collecting a blueprints to make the armor or weapon and whether it's blue or epic it doesn't matter because it gives you the same uh, XP when you make it which is 40 XP per blueprint and the refining gives you 20 no matter what until you reach the epic category. Devouring the same great pet has a chance of giving you an extra lifespan. Feed your pet any quality eggs until he reaches the 100% mark then read the required eggs that's needed and go out there and capture it so you can feed him. Farm star stones on other planets or find them on your own planet to gather them. They do seem to be rare on your planet. You can burn epic mats for liquid violet dew which is one of the most required mats ingredients to craft a high-end gear. Every continent has its own unique resources like east has silver, like south has iron and west has copper. Level up your processing by gathering wood and stone. If you want to change faction then head over 
over to this spot on the map called Feud Bureau. You can then change your faction. Stop one-shotting butterflies and weak enemy by equipping toys or gray great weapons. Go fishing for mermaid attendants as they do have the one of the best stats, uh, base stats in the game. Hunt down all the one-star legends that you can see in the map. Uh, they do give ruins, weapons, and also contribute to your world info for stats. If you're requesting something in the auction house, you can put it in global chat by clicking this button. Pay attention to the equipment and weapon grade, they are not all the same. Collect the bell for world info, then make the rack to put them up. That is the only thing I know bells are used for. The star system, pick two of your favorite weapons and, and put all your points in them. I will make a dedicated star, star system video in the future. You can trade dusty dust sword. for star points in this area. You can easily get this get to space by using the rocket or simply flying your mount up there. Buy a visa to hunt and travel to other parts of the map. Because if you don't, then you will be hunted down and arrested. Got bored of how you look? Change your race and appearance by clicking this button. When breaking seals on monsters, start with the higher seal first and end with the lowest. That will do more initial damage to the beast. Make sure that you do prioritize crafting a shell coon as it will aid you in battle. You can duel and pet battle with friends and strangers. If you lose pet fights, you lose lifespan, so be careful. We have reached the 50th tip, please. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment and leave a comment if you've learned a new tip. Let's keep moving. You can make soil pots at home to grow your garden. Give your attendants armors and weapons so that they can aid you in battle. You can make weather and focus resistance food. You can build floating platforms, do your daily encounters as they give the best rewards. I know most of you get Dawn armor first, but if you can skip it and just save up for the Atmos armor, I would highly, highly suggest it. These stat points are a major jump from Dawn armor to Atmos armor. Clan events is a must, so I do suggest you do get in a clan, make your own clan and do these events as they do have really good rewards. Home defense is also a must because they do reward you with seals. Fishing for recipes and collecting all sorts of fish is highly important for the world info. My favorite weapons would be the axe, staff, and the multi boa. I have found them to be the best things to hunt down the grand beasts. You can find unsealed noble beasts to collect the noble souls. Make sure if you are in a clan to donate every single day as the uh, ultimate reward at the end is very, very lucrative. Buy the jade and the strange beast mask from your home every single day. Batwolf and condor wings are the number one uh, body parts to put on any pets from the start because flying them is extremely easy. Make sure if you do find a legend to talk to them before dueling them. Ling Z or Ling Zai is, is the best gatherable material for XP as it gives you plus three. To get ash plants, you can smelt things in the furnace like logs, fiber, and parasitic ash. Some plants allow you to add more fertilizer to increase or to lower the duration in which then you can harvest. So keep adding fertilizer and checking on it every now and then. When you're adventuring in the wild, keep your eyes open for weapons and equipments on the grounds. Also bonfires, they give you really good stuff. If you can't upgrade your home, then pay attention to the top left where it says your the points needed to upgrade. Then just start adding more furniture to increase it. If you're adventuring in the wild and you do see a seal beast then there is no use trying to fight it without seals some of the seals are not in the global version yet but they will be soon if you see a tiny chest icon that means it does drop loot when you're adventuring in the wild you might come across a full magic beast they do not drop any loot but they are capturable and is used for the world info if you're looking to expand your farm then you might have to build a base vertiso we made it to the 75th tip if you guys uh, are still here i love you guys and you guys are amazing and let us continue but before we do that please leave a comment and a sub just tell me how you guys are finding the video so far some furniture you can buy with sage and they spawn attendants so look into the sage shop on the top right bronze chests in the wild give you silver keys and silver chests give you gold keys so start looking for them if you're looking for the legendary or mythic mustard shot which has the higher chance of capturing things then you need to upgrade your workbench to workbench 3. Insect ichor can be found under rocks when mining. You'll see these little insects that just pop up or just go to the desert area and kill small insects to get them. Collect crystals and fiber for 
raw bank glass later. It's gonna be very handy. Use the teleport menu to get to the important places like Central Town or your friend's house. Ice pieces rock look very uh, different than a snowy rock, so make sure to find ice pieces on top of snowy mountains. If you're looking for the royal surge, they are most commonly and mostly found in the desert mountain. Place three incubators and hatch eggs with friends to speed up the process. If you're looking to complete the village chief's quest, then you to collect the cinnabar coins, he will be located in every single village. The Flame and Water Pearl will be very important later on because it will negate the weather conditions in your house. Make sure to invest in the Arcane category in your Spirit Orb as it does give you star points. The Pippa is your best friend as it does heal you but it also ignores all sorts of armor and it does pure damage to the enemy. The RES is short for resilience and not resistance. So make sure to stack up on a resilience in your armor and your star point you can get contribution and dance tokens by by initiating a dance party which gives you xp if you want to paint your walls a different color then it is absolutely for free all you have to go is to this menu and there you get it make sure to check out the home shop in your house and buy all the stuff that you can get for calories open the shop on the top right and buy the oyster feast for daily xp and there are some things for sage that you can actually afford the blush buff is one of the best pets to have a late game because it heals you and it heals itself you can build it together in chimera land by simply opening the team interface when you're in a party and select group build make sure that before you go to your storage that you have sorted by load in your inventory so that everything that is the heaviest will appear on top and you can stash it away you can get the green soul mats from harvesting ling's eye and tree saplings in your house or in your farm grind uh, grind the monsters uh, to collect their mats and sell them for a ton of rubies in the market this was a surprise for me but some cosmetic outfits give you some stats they're not much but they are something if you grind enough of the advanced totems then you have a chance to summon a legend that you fight at the very end they have a chance to drop purple and legendary equipment and for the hundredth tip uh, discover the whole world info it does contribute to your max power level it is how i got to the highest level i could reach make sure to discover and explore chimera land to the fullest go through the world info and start collecting and now for some bonus tips your level and power level determines the drops from totems and other events if you don't have any a gates anymore to fix your weapons and armor then i suggest to do some totems a daily activity Activities and different chests and that is it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments if you want me to discover anything of these tips in specific so i can dive into them in more detail but until then i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys later